when he actually puts his mind to something, he's actually very capable. Oh, we're picking right back up with the body swap. Oh my god, poor Iris. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I can only imagine what type of nonsense Megamine was saying to those guys. <laughs> oh, look at him. You know it's bad when Aqua's calling somebody an idiot. He got exposed. <laughs> I bet Iris was pissed. Oh my god, she's giving him a death stare. Oh, is that Chris again? Oh, it is. She is constantly just pestering him about this. <laughs> That's good info to her, though. That's what she wanted. Hold up. Whoa. That's why it's so dangerous. You permanently swap bodies if somebody dies. You can literally just keep hopping into different people's bodies. Yeah, these treasures are incredibly powerful. And that's why she doesn't want them falling into the wrong hands. Incredibly dangerous. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm with Kazuma. Why does she trust him like that? He's a degenerate. Excuse me? <laughs> oh my god, look at Kazuma's outfit. What is he wearing? Nah, that's crazy. He's got one of the masks on, but why is he wearing that? <laughs> he looks like he belongs to like a drag show. Look at my boy. It's so funny that they're matching. <laughs> really gonna settle this with rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> Did he lose? Oh, no, he lost. Look at Kazuma be useful. We got like a spy mission going on. This is great. <laughs> this dude, man. He can't keep himself in check. Oh, what is he doing? He's like, oh, he's rubbing all up on her. No, thank you. <laughs> oh my god, he's such a scumbag. Uphold the world's peace. <laughs> oh my god, he gave him away. Come on. This is all his fault. Couldn't keep his urges in check. Okay, Kazuma. <laughs> Everybody's slipping up the stairs. Okay, Chris. Shout out my boy, Kakuin. Oh, no. Oh, he's gonna miss Iris. And that's gonna motivate him to see her one last time. <laughs> Kazuma and his little sister fantasies. Yo, he sidestepped that easily. He caught her hand. And the drain touch. 
Oh. Oh, absolutely got her. <laughs> Why is he this charged up? When he actually puts his mind to something, he's actually very capable. He's just gonna drain touch everybody. <laughs> oh, look at him, he's weak in the knees. He's literally taking everybody out. Okay, Chris. <laughs> now is not the time to debate over name. Oh, is this going to be darkness in them? Oh, is it Mitsurugi? Oh, he's about to get bodied again. Oh, old rivals about to face again. <laughs> he really called her a boy. That's so vile. Oh, he's going to try to steal it. Wow, he's got a bunch of decoys on him. <laughs> oh, look at Cosmo be crafty. He's using a freeze skill. Yo, Mitsurugi is really weak. My man's getting exposed. He's gonna waterboard him. He could have just used Drain Touch. He's out here drowning him. Look at his face. <laughs> Yo, why is Kazuma actually a criminal mastermind this episode? <laughs> He's having way too much fun with this. They actually got up there. Look at them Naruto running. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, this is about to be great. <laughs> oh, she knows it's them. Okay, uh, yo, Iris. Iris doesn't play. She's got her little uh, rapier up here. And they got Megami. They got all of them. They're like, what is this idiot doing? Oh my god, she doesn't realize it's him. Why is she, like, idolizing them? <laughs> oh no, that's what Darkness wants. She wants to be bound. And Aqua is just absolutely cooked. She is plastered. <laughs> she is not doing anything. <laughs> Uh-oh. They're sandwiched. Come on, darkness. Oh, uh, I forgot how useless she actually was. They just want the necklace. Cosmo's gonna get her underwear, though. Is Aqua about to actually do something helpful? Surely not. They just jumped from there. Oh, they got into the water. They actually pulled that off. Why was that the coolest thing Cosmo has ever done? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he stole the ring. <laughs> yeah, it's better off it wasn't the, the panties. Oh, 
She can't trust him to do that. Ouch. Oh no, that's a disaster. It completely loses its its purpose. He might have to just keep it then. So what they do with the necklace? <laughs> oh, they're keeping it a secret. Darkness isn't telling them. Oh, interesting. The rumors that the thieves are actually noble. Because if it's that powerful, we don't want Iris to have it. And now Cosmo wants to take the credit. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Megamine is fangirling. <laughs> See, now he wants to let, let him know. Oh, no, not now even Iris is impressed. She has no clue who it actually was. She is blushing so hard. <laughs> this is everything Kazuma wanted. <laughs> Darkness is going to beat the hell out of him. <laughs> Maybe, just maybe, one day, they'll take him out. Aww. <laughs> Aww, he wants, or she wants him to come back and visit sometimes so he can play a game again. That's cute. Wow, that's why she wanted Kazuma to do it. She knew the whole time. Another really funny episode of Konosuba. I'm honestly surprised Kazuma even lived like long enough. I'm surprised that, that Claire and Darkness didn't just kill him after the body swapping stunt that he pulled they were certainly ready to just have him gone after that like yep go home we don't need you here in our castle anymore after that nonsense it was so funny to see Cosma team up with chris and like don those crazy outfits and actually like try to infiltrate the castle the two of them made for such a great dynamic duo of misfits there and look at Cosma though I think sometimes we forget how strong Kazuma can actually be and how tactical he can be when he actually like puts his mind to something. Like more often than not, he's just like a total goofball and kind of a pervert and useless. But when he actually wants to achieve something, he's actually strong. He's got an arsenal of skills that he can use. A combination of drain touch and steel is incredibly powerful. And that freeze skill as well proved to be incredibly useful for him in this episode. Not only taking down Mitsurugi, who he bests once again, by the way, but also Claire, Rain, and even Darkness in them once he got to that final chamber with Iris. I loved how Aqua, Megamine, and Darkness somehow managed to be the most useless, even when all of like their royal guards were just getting absolutely bodied by Cosmos freeze skill and the drain touch. Like Megamine was completely just enthralled with how cool they looked. Aqua was just drunk as a skunk. And then of course, Darkness just swung for the fences with that sword and completely missed. Now granted, she was able to catch up to them and she did realize what was going on, but that was so, so hilarious to me. Like, the, the three of them together should be so powerful, but they're just so incredibly useless. Like, it's so futile, and it's amazing. I also love how we got that bit of information 
about how the ring of Princess Iris is meant to go to whoever she's supposed to marry, and then Cosma ends up with it, of course. Him being a uh, ciscon, he is he's all about that, of course. Well, the big shock for me... Well, actually, there were two big shocks. The first being Cosma actually lost in a game of rock, paper, scissors, which is very surprising to me. Um, and second, Iris knew all along that the thief was Cosima. I, I really was surprised by that. I didn't see that coming, but I guess it makes sense. She's come to know him over the time that they were together. And, you know, his mannerisms certainly uh, give it away. She kept quiet, though. And she just didn't tell Claire or Rain or anyone else that it was really him. She got to kind of praise him in the end there when she said, man, you know, the thief really was cool after all. And he was noble trying to protect me. I thought that was a really cool moment there. But I am going to be very happy that our band of idiots is going to be back in actual going forward. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, let me know what you thought of it down in the comment section down below. And as always, y'all mean the world to me if you would like and subscribe. So help me out a ton. Until next time, y'all, take care. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.